What's up everybody, this should be a quick review, hopefully, uh, of the differences between the V1 and V2 Monarch. Um, we'll start off with the actual differences, and that is going to be the modifications that both him and JK and Hansen have um, done here to the Tang. Um, most notable difference in my opinion uh they've made the tang of the knife here thicker than on the v1 um, which allows for better resistance to wear and tear when it comes to the handle gap which as we all know has been the main struggle for the v1s um, as depicted right in front of you um, as far as the v2 goes it is also um, hardened titanium i believe and they've also changed the angles the uh, the angles here on which the um, handles impact on the blade. With this being a pinsless design, there's no hidden zin pins, there's no tang pins, so it is titanium hitting steel, which you know titanium is not as t um, as hard as steel is, so it tends to mushroom out over time. Um, but titanium is titanium is better at um, abrasion resistance than steel, um, so. It uh, also has a tendency to wear down on the steel here, which is hopefully what they've correct, uh, corrected with the hardening of the titanium to get uh, the differences between the Rockwell on here and the Rockwell here, um, the Rockwell being the hardness. Hopefully they've closed that gap to make the, um, the handle gap last longer. Not only that, but with them adding the benefit of the the thicker material here and the difference between the angles we will just have to sit and see but i do suspect that uh, it will last longer now with that being said this is on bushings and this is on bearings um, the v1 monarch with it being on bearings it has super smooth bearings there's nothing to worry about there um, other than the bearings do seem to swing faster um, which is another reason why I think the V1 struggled that much more with uh, trying to keep its handle gap is just because um, the bearings allow the handles to swing faster which means that whenever it hits to stop up here on the tang it um, you know it's hitting harder which means that the the wear and tear on it is going to be that much more um, with it, this running on bushings it's very consistent very smooth um, it doesn't it doesn't uh, build momentum as easily as fast um, so the impact is the the uh, impact up here is has less force behind it now flipping wise you can't really tell the difference in my opinion at least so i paid eight hundred dollars for this and i paid trade value wise twelve hundred for this so if you're not worried about the handle gap issue or even if you want to get a reblade which will run you about three hundred dollars i believe so even with that being said i'd be in this knife about eleven hundred dollars um, when i get the reblade um, which is still less than than this knife um, now, with that being said, if you're trying to save out on money, which I like to do, there's no reason to not get or to go for this really um, if you're just going off of flipping experience. These both flip the same. I mean, the the differences really are just in the um, the tie and the tang here for the handle. And then you've also got the difference in design here. So, you know, really, it's up to you. But if you're just in it for the flip, for the flipping, save yourself some money. Um, might as well. Now, I have both of them, so I didn't save myself any money. But I don't regret it because I, I really wanted to make this comparison video after I'd have some time flipping both of these, because uh, I haven't seen a comparison directly between a V1 and a V2. Um, well, V2 and V1. Um, I'm sure there's probably one out there, I just haven't seen it. Uh, so with that all being said, the sound check right, I mean it sounds pretty good. So there's your V1.
I think the uh, V1 definitely sounds better. So, in my opinion, the V1 does beat out the V2 on sound. Um, that is just my opinion, so take it with a grain of salt. Now, the only thing I wish these things did, these knives did have, because they've done great on everything else, they've even given them um, relief, a relief uh, cut out here so that, uh, or taking the time to mill out extra material. Um, CNC out, whatever, uh, so that you can develop that blade play and still not get uh, blade rub, blade tap, um, which I think is a lovely idea considering you have things like replicants that uh, have such a thin, they have such a thin um, channel cut out there between uh, between the handle scales that if you have really any play, you'll start to develop tap. Uh, and blade rub just because there's really no room for air on the on their bushings um, but what I wish these knives did have especially at their price point considering this knife has it at $280 and these knives at about $1,200 um, is this these knives do not have any grip whatsoever on uh, the sides here they do have the JK and Hansen logo, which is a nice touch, and I do like it. it. It's a very good placement, in my opinion. It looks excellent. Unfortunately, the grooves are not deep enough um, to actually give you any added grip whenever you're doing things like choker fans or any movement where you've got the, the knife between your fingers here um, or the sides of the knife. And I feel like with this knife being 280 ish dollars, and this knife being twelve hundred dollars, I feel like they definitely could have could have added that um, and moved the logo somewhere else, uh, or make the logo bigger and the grooves deeper so it gives you some type of texture, and then just had either the logo again or some some other type of uh, design or texturing over here. Um, I do think that that would have been a, a much better idea um, on that aspect, but. That's me being picky, and other than that, there's really nothing bad for me to say about these knives. Um, they both make excellent products bet um, between JK and Hansen, so I'm really pleased with the way that these knives have held up and the way that they do flip. Um, and if you're concerned about balance-wise between the V1 V2, don't worry. The balance is pretty much the same. Your V1, your balance points, um, handle biased right about here. V or V2, your handle, you know, what I said, but, uh, uh, the V1, um, the same spot, really, um, your, it's handle biased, and then your balance points to right about here, so, you're not really changing the balance of it by switching to the V1 or V2, and the only difference you're really getting is the tie and the tang, um, I think that really sums it all up, uh, I mean, they have flipper edges, which I don't like. I like them being razor sharp. But if you're going to go ahead and use them for utility purposes, I, I'd use my knives. I don't. I wouldn't say that I use them as utility knives, but um, the flipper's edge does annoy me sometimes. And I could sharpen it. I just, it, it, to be honest, it's, I'm lazy. <laughs> but um, these are S35VN, which is a very usable steel, a very... Um, high-end steel uh, so there's absolutely no reason why you couldn't use these as knives if that's something that you're into um, this is number 193 this is number 21 um, so between between all the knives in between here right between 21 and 193 the flipping experience between these two is relatively the same so if you want to just figure out which one you can get away with if you can get away with getting a v1 and paying less money go for it um you'll have you'll be in less money and you'll get relatively the same experience um i think i'm gonna go ahead and try and cut it off now at 10 10 minutes this way we don't make this thing too long but uh yeah overall go with a v1 if you're wanting to save money if you want if you don't want the hassle to try and you know get a new blade and deal with that 
um, and you're a really hardcore bushings fan, then go ahead, you know, pay the $1,200 and get you a V2. Um, that's my opinion on it. Uh, and those, those are really the, uh, the differences, but besides the design and the handles, if you're wanting to pay the extra money for the different design, um, for the V2, then, you know, by all means. Um, but I think I'll go ahead and cut it off there and, uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.